From Software punishes quitters and cheaters in Armored Core 6 ranked. Top 100 ranked players get special cosmetics and some weird and strange game mechanics discovered in Armored Core 6. We have all that and more coming up in this video. Hello, I'm Cleric, and I'm here to tell you... <laughs> Normally, we would start with the lead story, but for the first time, we're going to kind of bury the lead a little bit. I want to share a couple of things first that I feel are related to what the lead story is that kind of help set a little bit of context for said lead story. And so, with that being said, Armored Core Ranked has started a new season and the leaderboards and ranks have been reset. From Software released the details on how everyone's rank would change after the start of the new season. All those who were B4 and higher would go back a few notches, some more than others. Uh, the graphic on the screen here should show what they released and indicated how it would work and indeed when it did happen it is how it worked the good news is for those who successfully made the s rank grind before you don't have too far to go to get there again and for those who didn't quite make it there it's actually not too bad a demotion for you either so for those who are worried about the rank grind being too much this time around it actually might not be as bad as we thought so go get it in more game news Nameplates were awarded as cosmetics to those who finish in the top 100 through 11 spots, the top 10 through 2 spots, and the number 1 spot. As you see here on the screen, number 1 got the irregular nameplate, ranks 2 through 10 got the aberrant nameplate, and ranks 11 through 100 got the dominant nameplate. Now I want to give a big shout out to the various people on various uh, AC discords out there who helped me gather information below, both the screenshots of the nameplates and also some names. I wanted to report on who got rank 1 for each game type for each system, PlayStation, Steam, and Xbox, and they are as follows. On the PC side, on for singles we got Goma, for teams it was Noah, for the PlayStation side and singles it was Super MyPod, and then in teams it was Migratory underscore zero zero. On the Xbox side singles, it was Data Bloom with two zeros, not two O's. And on the team side, it was Death War Red. Congratulations to those six players. Congrats on getting the rank one spot on the first rank season on Core 6. Looking forward to seeing if maybe some of you return this next season or if we'll see all new faces. On to more game news and our lead news story. Many players who were serial abusers of quitting out of ranked matches to try and preserve their rank points to get one of those top 100 ranking spots got a rude awakening the first time they loaded up the game after the maintenance concluded for the season reset. Upon loading up the game for the first time, the From Software detected that they had disconnected too frequently. They got this message. Warning. Penalty has been imposed on your account. Warning. The penalty has been imposed on your account due to online matches being frequently terminated improperly through network disconnects, etc. Whether intentional or accidental, and regardless of reason, the frequency of these network disconnects exceeds typical player behavior. As a penalty, it will be more difficult for this account to partake in online matchmaking for a said period. This account will also be removed from any leaderboard it was listed on before the end of the season. This penalty will be removed once the set period has elapsed, so please leave some time before confirming your matchmaking status. In the interest of fraud prevention, we cannot provide criteria for the penalty or other details of the set period Thank you for your understanding. There were some reports of people online saying they got this message and they did confirm that they did not get their nameplate reward for being in any of the top three ranked categories. While many applaud this, some were a little less enthusiastic and some were rather distraught. Some complained that they were hit with this, but did not quit out of matches, citing they have unstable internet. Others thought the penalty was, too, was not enough, actually and many were continue to do it and not care as they only are missing out on a cosmetic nameplate. While I can kind of sympathize with the former, if your internet is bad enough that it disconnects so often that From Software thought you could be doing it on purpose, that is pretty bad. Though I'm not criticizing anyone for their lack of stable internet availability, you have to think about your connection and how it's affecting the gameplay of others. If it is bad enough to invoke a penalty, I imagine a good number of players who have been frustrated playing against you due to weird net issues affecting lag, shot registration, and matches ending in draws, especially while in the promotion phase. So though I feel bad that your internet is that unstable, at the same time, you really can't blame them if this is the case that is the case for you. Now, as for those who think it's not a stiff enough penalty, I'm more or less inclined to agree. Um, though it appears to affect their ability to matchmake, 
Slower queue times is not something we're necessarily unfamiliar with in Armor Core 6 ranked, especially on the team side. So a cosmetic isn't really much of a penalty for many of those who are constant quitters. Now, it may be for some, and for those of those case who really wanted that cosmetic really bad, I hope this does actually keep you from quitting in the future. However, I'm sure there's going to be quite a few people who don't find it to be a problem and will just keep doing it anyways. Now, if you're one of those people who just doesn't care how it affects other people they're playing, you have a problem. Problem that stems from outside of the game. This is a very unhealthy mentality to have. For those who think it's just a game, who cares, or it's just a joke, for me personally, I highly value my time, as I'm sure many others do. And someone who decides to selfishly ruin the game for someone else, that's time we don't get back. And if you really don't care if your actions negatively affect someone else, that is the definition of toxic behavior. In the words of Michael Jordan, Stop it. Get some help. In our last bit of game news, Along with the warning some got for disconnects, some also got a warning if they detected unauthorized game tampering. Here's the warning message. Warning. Unauthorized tampering with the game has been detected. Unauthorized tampering with the game has been detected on your account. If you are engaged in unauthorized tampering activities, such as modification of player data, such as unauthorized acquisition of parts or comb, modifications of game data, adjustments of parts parameters, or modification of game functionality, please stop and delete the unauthorized save data. If similar unauthorized activities are detected in the future, you'll be penalized in accordance with the online service terms of use. As some of you may know, I myself have done some mod streams where I play a, the various mods some people have worked on. I'm personally a big fan of the Armory mod. And however, these have always been done offline, not online in any way, shape, or form. And I always make a backup of my save and restore that backed up save before I go back online again. It appears that some people are taking these kind of mods and modifications online. There have been some reports of cheaters, even in the current season. Reports from various players are saying the current rank one player in singles and teams on the PC side of things, both of which happen to be the same player, is a cheater. I have been sent videos confirming this. I'm watching a heavy biped go at 500 speeds consistently, with their weapons doing extra damage and their FCS essentially having perfect correction and aim, essentially making it where they miss almost any shots whatsoever. I have been sent multiple example videos of this player, and it's pretty blatant. Now, if you do come across people like this, you do have the option of reporting them in-game for cheating. And at all possible, if you happen to have this match recorded, please send that video my way. I will be very happy to share this video over to my contacts for the game and see if maybe we can get something done sooner rather than later than the end of the season. Cheaters are bad. Cheaters are bad for everyone. It's time to get rid of cheaters. See if we can. Moving over to community news, Courtesy of at U3Gamer over on Twitter, they shared a post comparing two ACs fighting each other, one where they were playing the game at 30 FPS and the other one 120 FPS. As you can see in the video here, two ACs are using the exact same frame, parts, weapons, and internals. The POV AC is landing a lot more shots and building stagger much faster than his target, who is doing it towards the POV AC, missing a whole lot more and effectively doing nothing in comparison. So as you can see here in the video, uh, yeah, that's a fairly stark difference between 30 FPS and 120 FPS. They say there's a noticeable difference between even 30 and 60 and 60 and 90. So take note, Ravens, try to play at a higher FPS. I know you're trying to do that anyways, but it might be time to maybe sacrifice some of your graphics settings, especially if you're going out and grind in PvP. If you're going on PvE, it probably doesn't matter as much, but the PvP era, frames are king. In more community news, courtesy of at Kiyo Kitunono, over on Twitter, they shared an interesting interaction with the laser orbit weapons. Those are familiar, those are the back laser weapons that fire on their own and follow you around. As you can see in the video here, by moving your lock on off the enemy AC then back on, you actually can make the laser orbit fire faster and more often than if you were just to leave it stayed locked on. And the faster you can do it, the faster it will go. I haven't run anyone using this yet online in PvP, probably because pulling this off would be a little bit of a nightmare and probably not as effective as some of the regular PvP strats. But looking at the video, it's hilarious how fast you can make this thing go. I might try this one out for myself here pretty soon, maybe live on stream, just so people can kind of see the ridiculousness of this. So, good find. In our last bit of community news, as some of you may be aware, I like to open a random AC stream once in a while and support them and lurk while I'm working during the day or evenings. I came across one such stream by Anubis520. He enjoys doing challenge runs of Armored Core 6. 
He recently completed a world first new game hitless run of the entirety of chapter one. That includes everything from the intro mission all the way up through Balteus. Once upon learning this, I went and got his information so I could share it and, and then I found out while looking this information up that just two weeks prior, Anubis also did two other new game world firsts of completing both hitless chapters of chapter two and chapter five. Well done, Anubis. I plan to watch one of these in an upcoming stream, and I might see if you can hang out with me while I do so. So, watching this hitless run, I am really looking forward to it. It should be pretty cool. All right, as always, we finish up with our meme of the week. Here is this week's meme, courtesy of at Brador underscore Yamamura on Twitter. Here is this week's meme. There was a Twitter trend uh, recently that there was all these little shadow drawings between the two different kids on the floor. And I really appreciated this one, <laughs> given that there was uh, a lot of attention to detail. Uh, both of them are wrapped up like mummies or like the hounds you see in the game. And one is looking at the official game guide at dealing with the uh, filter copter. And one is looking at the silhouette of Raven. So uh, well done, Brador. Uh, this is pretty funny. All right, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different here. Um, there are so many events going on for the various platforms for PC and you know Xbox and PlayStation going on all the time. And honestly, there's so many events going on that I could probably sit here and spend 10 minutes just covering all the various events that are still in the ongoings or in the works. Uh, between all the Strikers things just regularly, the PS sign with Board Josh and the Aaliyah server, the Xbox server doing lots of things. And right now Armor Core Legacy with Fram Chang doing all of the PC Verdict Day and also PSN Verdict Day stuff. There's so much to cover, so this is my plan from here on out, assuming it works out well. Uh, rather than highlighting some and not others and making some maybe potentially feel left out, in the description below, there's gonna be a whole section in the description dedicated to just various communities and links and to their events. What I'm planning on doing is having links to all their different Discord communities or their social media um, in, you know, sections so you can see where these events are taking place or what they're happening. And also, so you have the opportunity to see what's going on. There's a wide variety of events happening all the time on all the different platforms. And I plan on making this kind of a uh, central hub of information that I put in each description of these kinds of videos. But there's also a possibility I might be missing some stuff. So if you find an AC community doing events is missing from my list, please comment below so I can take a look at that community and I might get it added to the list. So that is all I have for today's news. Links to each of these items we are covered today are in the description below. There's a lot more news out there to cover, but if you'd like to submit a piece of news to be covered specifically, there's a link in the description where you can fill out a form and let me know. Thank you all for your time. This is Cleric, signing off.